Welcome everyone to the Bronze Age mod for Total War Rome 2 and we are doing another historical AI battle. And this time one of the most famous battles of the Bronze Age other than the Siege of Troy. The Battle of Kadesh between Pharaoh Ramses the second or the third, I forgot, but Ramses um, against King Mutwali of the Hittites. Now this battle... The, um, the exact numbers and exactly who won the battle are s still debated, but I'm pretty sure that the most people consider the Egyptians as the victors, some consider the Hittites. Now, the Egyptians have brought a lot of chariots in, which will come in handy. They've brought in a lot of some Egyptian spears, some Egyptian infantry, some Nubian spears, Nubian guard, and... Over here, they also have some uh, Pharaoh's chariots, led by Ramses himself. I'm not sure where he is. Now let's just speed it up a little bit. Now we haven't, I haven't seen the Hittites yet, because they're still hidden. So the Nubian bowmen, they have also brought, and some Egyptian infantry. It's mostly just infantry and spearmen and chariots that the Egyptians brought. And some bows and artillery. Well, not artillery, artillery, more like a bows and skirmishing units. The Pharaoh's chariot could prove decisive if the, if used correctly. Now I have yet to see the Hittites. I haven't seen them yet so we can't cover them. But historically in this battle they were fighting over control over the uh, the Levant. Oh Egypt also brought in some Sheridan guardsmen and the Sheridan used to be kind of like pirates but then like uh, the Egyptians decide to use them for um, like kind of mercenary troops. So we have some nice Sheridan guardsmen as well. Now the Hittites have yet to show up, like I said. Okay, we've seen a Hittite unit over here. This is just a uh, bow, Anatolian tribal slinger unit. Okay, so more of their units are starting to show up. And the Hittites have brought in a lot of axe units. some A lot of Bronze Age axe units. Although they are hidden. They've also brought in some Anatolian spears, some Cassite light spears, Anatolian slingers. All kinds of nice units. Now, the mod for the Bronze Age, they, the, the only thing playable right now is the custom battle, so you can't play campaign just yet, although I am excited if they ever come out with a grand campaign one. Ooh, they've brought Anatolian warriors and some Hittite axes. Now, where's the heavy units? Where are the heavy units? Oh, right here. The Anatolian noble swords. They're going to come, and the Hittites have the advantage of the high ground right now. Okay, so, Ra so Ramesses' chariots are going to come, kind of get ready, and we're already going to see a, some... Oh, forget it. We're going to see an engagement between the Egyptian infantry and the um, Anatolian tribal slinger unit, and it looks like the tribal slingers are going to... They're going to lose this engagement. Now the chariots are going to charge right into the um, Kassite light spears, and the, the Hittites also have their own chariots, I'm pretty sure. Hittite provincial chariots. Kind of in a little engagement with the uh, Egyptians right now. Although it's not, it's not really... For some reason it looks really weird. And the Hittites are firing. So are the Egyptian bows. Ooh, those bows, those Egyptians, they're firing down on those heavy spears. Let's have some chariot engagements. Not very exciting for some reason, as I expected it would be. Kind of just sitting around there. Oh, the chariots are moving now. They didn't even lose any men. Oh, they're going to cut these, these uh, provincial axes down. Ooh, they're scythe chariots. Now the biggest engagement is going to be between the Egyptian infantries 
and all of the Anatolian swordsmen. The Hittites have their own chariots as well. In fact, I believe that it was the Anatolians who invented the chariot, and then the Egyptians adopted them. Or I could be wrong. I haven't read Bronze Age in a while. Um. So far the balance of power is actually quite even between the two sides. They're kind of just locked in a big a big skirmish over here. Now these archers are firing into the Hittites. There's very it's very historically accurate these these troops. They look very bronze age like. That's going to be a, a nice hit there. Some of the Egyptian units are starting to waver. But the, but the balance of power is still very even. There's not really much to say other than the units are just kind of in a big skirmish, like I said, and that the archers are keep firing at each other. The chariots, I don't think they, oh, some nice charge there. Oh wait, is that outflanking I see? The chariots charge right into those archers right there. That's gonna they're gonna wreck the archers. Those Hittite chariots. The Hittites have surrounded Oh no, the Hittites, they're... They're not... They might lose this, actually. The balance of power is now in the Egyptians' favor, despite their chariot... That, that brave chariot attack. Because a bunch of the Hittite um, infantry and swordsmen units, they're starting to retreat. Those bows actually might have been the reason why the Egyptians won this battle. 
And that will end in an Egyptian victory. Although a very costly one at that. We have the Egyptian... The chariots actually didn't do as well. The Egyptian chariots... The, I think the Hittite chariots did much better in my opinion. Although this one chariot got quite a bit of kills in. Um, their archers paved the way probably for the victory. And so did their swords for being able to hold the Hittites back for so long. And so did this unit over here. Now over here, the Sheridan guardsmen did decently. The chariots did decently as well. Some of them getting over 100 kills. The archers also helping pave the way for success. And so did the infantry and spears. Now for the Hittites, we have... And I was right in choosing this faction for the Hittites. At first when I loaded up the battle, I wasn't sure if this was the right faction. But the name Hatti sounded a lot like the Hittites. And the units looked really similar. So in the end, I was right. So the Hittite provincial chariots did pretty well. Their infantry did good, but they weren't able to hold off because of all the, ar the constant fire from all those archers. Now, the same kind of goes for this um, uh, army of Hittites as well. So that will be the battle. And the Egyptians got in more kills in the end. And I will see you in the next one.